The Arctic harbors two great carnivores. One is a 4,000 pound torpedo tipped with prehistoric ice picks. The other is a fearless colossus with club-like paws and the strength to drag almost twice its own body weight. Let's look at what each brings to the fight. A shellfish-eating marine mammal, the walrus seems an unlikely face-off contender. But at 14 feet long and weighing 4,000 pounds, it has the power of a runaway truck. The walrus has two lethal weapons, a pair of prehistoric tusks that can grow up to four feet long. Made of solid ivory, each tusk weighs up to 15 pounds. They help fight off predators or establish dominance over rivals. The walrus's defense system is built around its thick two to three inch high and four inches of blubber. The scars and scratches show the heavy duty tusking it takes from other males as they compete for space and mating rights. But the other contender in this face off is no pushover. The largest carnivore on land, the polar bear weighs up to 1500 pounds and stands 12 feet tall upright. That's as tall as an elephant. It has a fearsome armory, including dagger-like three-inch canines and razor-sharp carnassial teeth. These can rip with ease through the skin, flesh, and blubber of its most common prey, the ring seal. The polar bear relies on two inches of fur and four and a half inches of blubber to protect its body, but its skin is unarmored. In a face-off, it might be vulnerable to the walrus's deadly ice picks. Our virtual rivals are ready to rumble. As walrus and polar bear go head to head, the polar bear attacked first and the walrus headed for the water. Wielding immense strength, the polar bear held the walrus long enough with those huge paws to latch on with its teeth, but it couldn't inflict serious damage. The walrus then took the fight to the water, the turning point. In its element, the walrus proved quicker and more maneuverable than the polar bear, and it showed what those tusks can do. Wounded and running out of air, the polar bear struggled back to the surface. But the walrus wasn't finished. With the bear unable to escape, it delivered the fatal blow.